Hey guys, how's it going? It is Mike here from Search Scientist and welcome to a Paid Traffic Daily on May 11th. Today we're going to be talking about the biggest misconception about search terms inside AdWords. Now, if you don't know what a search term is, <clears throat> you need to know what a keyword is first. A keyword is simply what you bid on. So when you want to set up an AdWords account and you set up your ad groups, inside each ad group, there lives a keyword that you bid on. So if you wanted to bid on men's sunglasses, that would be your keyword. But a search term is what actually triggers your ads. A search term is also a search query. And not all the time, these things actually match up. So if you think about how a, ma a broad match keyword works, you might bid on glass bottle, but you may appear for things like glass water bottle, water bottles made of glass, glass or plastic water bottle, or should baby bottles be glass or plastic. So you can actually appear for a wide range of terms that are way different than your keyword. Now, if you're not familiar with this concept, definitely go to the link in the description and actually read a little bit more about the difference between a keyword and a search term. Now, one optimization that everybody knows is to go and look at your search terms and add new negatives, add new positive. This is like, you know, the ABCs of optimizing an AdWords account. You go and you look at the terms that actually triggers your ads and then you go and make optimizations on them. Now, now this is probably very likely, if you're watching this video, it's very likely that you've had ad groups with bad CTRs and you've been frustrated with your ROI or CPA and you're like, wait a second, what is actually happening? I'm always looking at my search terms. Let's do a quick exercise. Let's actually download a search terms report and add up all the impressions. Let's do this little exercise. I'm inside an account and the first thing I'm going to do is, of course, download the search terms. Download in Excel, open it up. Okay, so I'm inside my search term report and I'm going to go ahead and take a sum of all of my impressions. So here I go. I just took a sum of all my impressions. I was sure to get rid of the summary row, so that's not there. And I'm inside my account. I have the sum of that. So if we take a look at this number, we are left with 111,000. So these are known search terms. Perfect. Now, if I go back to AdWords and I take a look, well, wait a second, there are 508,000. So let me go ahead and get this number. And this number, what Google tells me, are my total impressions. So all of a sudden, Google tell, Google's telling me that I have 508,000 impressions, but I'm only seeing 111,000 of them. What's the difference here? Well, if you go and you take this, and you subtract it from this, you're left with 396. So these are unknown search terms. So you're left with over almost 400,000. And this number is right here, other search terms. You've probably never noticed that there is an overwhelming amount of your search terms that you actually have no data on. Google calls it other search terms, it might as well be called unknown search terms. It's essentially terms that you will never have any visibility on. So in fact, this number is actually quite large. This is an overwhelming amount of your search terms. This is 78%. So that means you only see 22% of your total search terms in this particular account. So if you were only looking at these terms that you actually appeared for, you would only be optimizing just a fraction of your actual search terms, just 22% of them. But there's 78% that you never see. So what does this all mean? It, well, first of all, you, you only see very, very few of your actual search terms. So what do you actually do about it? Inside all of your optimization schedules, you should have two separate optimization events. The first is one task for, you know, looking through here and adding the negatives, absolutely, as you should. But you should have a totally different, separate task. We are using keyword research tools to go and find your negatives. Uh, terms outside of your account, using things like the Keyword Planner, Uber Suggest, uh, SEMrush, and just going out there and finding a ton of negatives. And when you go out and find a ton of negatives, add as many as you possibly can. You know, let's say you sell bathroom jets. Should you add football and stadium as a negative? Probably. You know, you don't want someone searching, are there bathrooms at Jets Stadium ever triggering your ads ever? So this is this is pretty major to find out that you only see a few percentage, 
a few percentage points of your actual total search terms is a big deal. So add as many as you can. And if you liked what you learned, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel where we'll be coming out with tips like this on a very regular basis. This is Mike from Search Scientists. Have a good one.